hi guys welcome to my channel uh, and it is the first video of my channel so i will first introduce my channel and me and then start the video so uh, this channel is all about imet and i am myself a medical student in university of pharma in italy uh, okay and for those who don't know imet is the medical admission test for all the uh, universities public universities specifically uh, in italy if you want to uh, uh, study medical in europe or italy specifically you have to give a specific exam which is called imet here okay or international medical admission test okay in this channel i will uh, guide you all about imet as i have myself given imet in 2022 last year so i can just share my experience and guide you for the process and for the preparation as well i will try to cover the uh syllabus specifically for biology syllabus this video is all about introduction to imet for those who don't know okay so let's start this video in this video i will first tell you about what is imet then uh, the registration and all the process and then uh, i will tell you for uh, as it is a uh, admission test so you should know that what to study and from where to study and at the, and i will give you some tips as well so just stick to this video till the end first of all what is imet again it is an admission test for medical schools in italy uh, what is public universities in italy uh, offer uh, medical in english to international students and every university has their specific criteria and number of seats but uh, for each university for applying to any of the university you have to give specific uh, single test which is imet based on this single test you can apply to all 14 universities okay it is highly english uh, because uh, it is for the students who are going to study the medical in english so it is completely an english based test okay it is organized by cambridge and it is held once in a year uh, and it important that it's valid for one year only i mean for example if you can't uh, uh, pass out the imet or can't get the seat in the merit list uh, in 2023 or the year uh, in which you are giving this test for the next year you have to appear in this exam again let's go next days and registration as a time for the applications and this all stuff is very important for medical university for any university in Italy, as uh, we have to do everything online and most of the students uh, don't even uh, get to know uh, about this stuff so its registration actually opens in the mid of july and uh, all the registration is online on university platform so uh, the fees for the registration is approximately 130 euros every year so uh, and the test again the test is held in the mid of september once in a year and after that they give you anonymous uh, mark sheet and an uh, anonymous merit list and that's all but the, uh, till the mid of october all the merit list and all the university the seats are announced so you can just consider it as the mid of october the final result is announced uh, six, uh, uh, six basic sections one is like logical reasoning and problem solving which contains 10 questions and general knowledge which also contains 10 questions then comes the scientific part which has three the four subjects okay. so one is biology with 15 questions chemistry again with 15 questions and maths and physics with five and five questions each okay so biology and chemistry uh, takes the most part of it uh, uh, exactly half of the questions of climate are biology and chemistry okay so in this way you can just compare like this subject you have to focus on the main then uh, what is the micro criteria as there are like 60 total questions and maximum score you can get is 90 because there is like 1.5 marks for every right answer and a negative marking of minus 0 0.4 for every wrong answer and if you don't know and you uh, just skip the answer there is no marking for that it will consider three okay so let's move next is huh, this is the most important thing what to study and from where to study okay so first of all you have to cover all the topics of imet syllabus imet 2022 syllabus since uh, the cambridge hasn't announced 2023 syllabus yet 
so for now you have to go on with 2022 syllabus because uh, most of the time the syllabus uh, the topics of the syllabus don't change a lot so this syllabus is gonna work for this year as well uh, most probably if uh, even if they change the syllabus they will change about one or two topics of every time so uh, for now you have to cover all the uh, topics each and every topic of the syllabus which they announced in 2022 so I will make a separate video for the syllabus as well uh, if you want. Then from where to study. So the best thing or the best books to study are your own high school textbooks. If uh, your own high school textbooks cover all the topics and all the syllabus of IMS, then it's better to go with them because you have studied all the topics from them and you will uh, understand uh, the things better from there rather than going with other books which uh, you haven't studied or you haven't uh, learned before okay but if uh, your high school textbooks uh, don't cover some topics of i met or you don't have books or anything like that then it's better to go with cambridge or ib textbooks uh, most uh, the most important thing is i met uh, is that you have to like uh, go with the con more with the concept or less with the grammar okay so it doesn't matter what textbooks you are using but uh, the main thing uh, or the important point is that you are covering all the topics and each and every concept uh, actually the university or the system wants you to know you need to know all the concept no matter from which textbook you are uh, studying or not okay then uh, for this uh, reason the most important thing here is concept the practice okay so you have to like practice for uh, the main thing for I mean is practice the one who wins is the one who practice the most in the for the I mean because it's like conceptual test and uh, as you can see the logical reasoning and problem solving all you need is practice okay for general knowledge you can cover uh, you can't cover a lot so most of the people uh, leave general knowledge and I will also recommend you to leave general knowledge for now okay uh, so uh, then for biology chemistry it is theoretical but still it needs a lot of practice you need to understand what type of questions examiner can ask and what type of questions uh, uh, are mostly like conceptual ones and not then for physics and maths of course all that needs is practice so nothing else so practice is the most important thing you need to focus and from where to practice first from the i met past paper of course then from we met past paper uh, uh, because i met and we met are both taken from by cambridge uh, okay so they both uh, the structure and the uh, hardness and most of the things in this paper are same not all the stuff but most of the things you can like uh, uh, the topics which are slain in both levels you can practice them in we met past paper as well if you are uh, finished with I met past paper, then and uh, problem solving and logical reasoning also you can uh, practice from BMAT past paper and BMAT 800. Uh, BMAT 800, 700, or 600, whatever you have, you can study with that. Then uh, you can practice from SAD books and Campbell Biology. Campbell Biology is very uh, good book for practicing biology, especially for genetics. Okay. So I will just give the links of these books in description as well uh, so that it will be easy for you. Okay, so the next thing is tips for IMED. Okay, based on my experience, I can just uh, uh, give you some tips and basic uh, things for IMED. Uh, okay, so uh, first is thing is to make strategy make strategy from now that how much you have to cover and how much you can cover and uh, which things you know and which uh, focus on those stuff uh, which you really don't know or the concepts which uh, in which you are weak rather than studying each and every aspect of the syllabus uh, i mean it uh, needs more smart work rather than hard work because the population is increasing every year so you need to work with a strategy then the second tip is start study as soon as you can 
because for most of the students it is like the mid of September uh, the exam is going on held and uh, we can just start studying in the June or July and then give the exam in uh, September okay it works for most of um, some students but not for most and as it a competitive test and every year the competition is increasing now the Italy is becoming a trend now or for medical student uh, uh, medical colleges the seats are limited for both European and North American so if you really want to achieve a seat and don't want to waste your time and uh, stuff so you need to study as soon as you can uh, and I will recommend you to start studying now from the time you are seeing this video okay then uh, cover theoretical subjects first. This is what I recommend. Uh, other than that, it depends on student to student and person to person. So uh, that uh, uh, what he can uh, cover and uh, actually it all depends on the strategy you make for yourself. But uh, this is something you decide. But uh, I will recommend you to cover theoretical subjects first uh, so that you can just go into practice. Okay, because practice is the most important thing. Then uh, dedicate more time to logical reasoning and problem solving because this is something you can't uh, like cover by just reading the books or just looking at the, some videos or by uh, learning the strategies and all. You can't cover this portion with that and it has like uh, 10 questions. So it's the, uh, it becomes like the most important of so next uh, tip is don't never skip physics and math if you have studied it in high school or in the past in any uh, subject okay most of the students actually skip physics and math and uh, it's like, because uh, they contain five and five a total of ten questions so it, it doesn't contain a big part of it and uh, uh, they feel like uh, studying the physics and math may waste their time uh, they can give to other subjects. Uh, yes, it's correct. But I will recommend you that if you know the basics of physics and math, or if you know the topics of physics and math uh, from your previous education, then don't skip it. If you do, uh, if you haven't studied physics ever or math in your high school, then it's better to skip it and dedicate the time to other subjects like uh, biology, chemistry, which has the larger question, or logical reasoning which has the larger questions rather than that but if you have studied it then it's better to revise it just revise that topic and uh, attend it because it is a competitive test and even one or two question of yours or correct answer of yours can get uh, you the seats in the medical uh, school so uh, and if uh, even if you haven't studied and uh, you are done with other things first then you can just look at the basic concept of it maybe it could help okay the next step try to solve fast paper first uh what students do is uh, they just start uh, learning and reading the books and just scrambling everything and uh, uh, don't even touch the past paper because they think they will uh, uh, like from the past paper in the end to check their preparation all for i mean it doesn't work because uh, I will recommend you to solve a one or two past papers even before you start studying it. Uh, again, focus on your weak points only. Not all the points, uh, not all uh, each and every topic of the syllabus. Other than everything, uh, you need to do uh, give uh, get up with a st better strategy of uh, doing smart work rather than hard work. Rather than uh, studying each and every topic you know. Again and again, you should only focus on big uh, points and just work from them and then again sit uh, for the past paper and practice and then see uh, which points you are uh, not good at and then uh, work on it. Okay, so this is what. Then the last but not the least is practice, practice and practice. The thing which works uh, for uh, the most for IMIT is practice. For every subject, not only for logical reasoning and all. Again, I'm uh, and other than that, if you have any questions, just ask them in the comments. And if you like this video, then hit the bell icon and uh, subscribe button. That's it for today. Thanks for watching my video. Goodbye.